SMS Rail Lines is a short-line railroad in New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey, which began operations in 1994. This railroad in particular has gained attention for running rare Baldwin diesel locomotives built in the 1930s and 40s, and can only be found in operating condition on this railroad. The short line even has X Santa Fe GEB 23-7s and an Alco. However, this is not an Alco you would usually think of, such as an RS3 or a C420. This Alco is an 060 steam locomotive, which is currently under restoration in order to work for SMS Rail Lines to do the one thing it was built for, the full freight. This engine has had an extensive history before joining the unique fleet of SMS Rail Lines. Locomotive number 9 was built in the Alco Works in Schenectady, New York in October 1942 as the United States Army 4023. This engine along with our U.S. Army 060 switchers at the time was sent to Fort Dix, New Jersey, where it moved military freight. Later on, 4023 was renumbered 616 and was transferred to the Army's Fort Eustis, Virginia base. Sorry for the mispronunciation. By 1958, the Army was retiring some of its steam locomotives, and 616 was part of this group of engines to be sold. 616 and number 618, formerly 4038, were sold to the Virginia Blue Ridge Railway based in Piney River, Virginia. The locomotive number was changed to number 9 and has been that way ever since. Number 9 and its three sister engines were used in freight service until 1963 when the VPR acquired three ex Lackawanna SW1s, 430, 427, and 432, renumbered 10, 11, and 12 respectively, all three of which still are still in service today. Well, different railways, of course. After engine number 9 had the honors of pulling the last steam haul train of the Virginia Blue Ridge Railroad on August 1st, 1963, the 4X U.S. Army steamers were officially retired. Luckily, new work was found for the engine when Steam Trains Incorporated purchased her for tourist service on the New Hope and Nightingale Railroad in New Hope, Pennsylvania, which I have even been to once. The engine ran in late 1966 and in 1969, serving as a backup engine for number 1533 and was out of service by early 1970. Sitting on a sidetrack as a display, number 9 would not run again until 1976 when it was given a new look with noticeable features, including a headlight on the, on the smoke box and a bell where its headlight originally was. From 1976 to 1981, number 9 pulled passenger trains and was mostly used as a backup engine to the new Open Nightmare's regular engine at the time, 40 still runs on the new Open Ivy Line to this day as a main steam locomotive. Unfortunately, this engine was taken out of service in 1981, and after an attempted rebuild of the locomotive in 1992 ended in disaster, the engine was sidelined and was put up for sale. Thankfully, this would not be the end of engine number 9, as the president of SMS Rail Lines took interest in this locomotive and purchased it from the new Open Ivy Line. The engine was then transported from New Hope to the SMS Rail Shops in Bridgeport, New Jersey on December 8, 2009, where restoration began almost immediately. The work for this engine continues to develop and it is nearing stages of completion, such as a cab being fitted on recently. This engine is being restored in order to pull freight, thus making this locomotive one of the only active steam locomotives in the U.S. to pull revenue freight. A similar title would go to UP-844 the only U.S. steam locomotive to never be retired, which pulls freight on certain occasions, but mainly pulls passenger excursions for Union Pacific. Once this engine is restored, it will be pulling revenue freight runs along the SMS system, thus making history as one of the first American steam locomotives to come out of retirement in order to pull revenue freight for an active freight railroad. Thank you all for watching the first episode in the news series, in which I go over the history of a specific engine, or engines, and how it is significant on the history of railroading. This series is not limited to one railroad in particular, as it can cover any locomotive and focus on any portion of the locomotive's life. It's basically an expanded series of mini documentaries about specific locomotives and explaining interesting facts about them. Even though this isn't exactly an engines of series, since it can cover any locomotive from any railroad, I would give credit for inspiration to Amtrak Guy 365's Engines of Amtrak and specifically Thunderbolt 1000 Siren Productions' New Hope Profiles, as the first episode in that series focused specifically on one engine. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more episodes of Remarkable Engines.